with another craft. This is Tuesday, the 28th of July. And if you like this video, please sprinkle the love to your page and uh, do this with others that you think might like it. So what we're going to do today is I have this owl cut out. Really cute with these extra pieces on here from the Dollar Tree. And if you haven't been to the Dollar Tree lately, you need to go so you can pick up some um, fall decor. Uh, there's several different items in there. There's pumpkins and trucks and, I mean, just all kinds of stuff. Lots of ribbon and all. So I'm just going to remove the, uh, the hanger here and we're going to set it aside because we're going to put it back on. Now the first thing you want to do, we're going to use scrapbook paper, and I've had this for several years. I don't know if it's still out there or not, but uh, this goes really well with the owl project that we're doing today. And that's the, the paper that I'm using has come from this. And I'm pretty sure I got it at Hobby Lobby when it was 50% uh, off. So I'm going to show you how to put your scrapbook paper on these pieces that are raised up. Now I've already cut out all the others, but I'm going to show you how I did it. So what I did was I laid my paper down on the eye portion and then I took my finger and I just rubbed around the inside of the circle and then I took my finger and I rubbed on the outside of the circle. Now this makes an indentation in the paper and uh, that way then you can see where to cut it and you don't have to then pull off these pieces and try to make a template okay so I'm not sure if you can see that or not but see where it's raised up that's where you want to cut So we're just cutting around the edges of the raised up portion of the scrapbook paper. And then I'll show you how to cut the inside without um, having to cut the uh, circle itself. And I was telling my mother about this project and she said, oh I love owls. And I asked her if she would want it, and she said yes. So what you're going to do is in the center, I'm just going to fold that a little bit and then cut a slit. Big enough to put your scissors through. And then you want to take your scissors to the indentation and then start cutting around the inside of it. And I did this with the feet as far as uh, rubbing the paper on the, um, the feet, the wings, the beak, and I've already got those cut out. But I just wanted to show you all how I did it. Okay, so here we have it. And as you can see, it fits on there. Okay. So I want to paint the owl inside the eyes, all up here, and all of this. I'm not going to paint the feet, the wings, or uh, the eyes and the beak because we're going to put paper on that. So what I have is um, folk art acrylic bluegrass. So I'm just going to shake it up and then I'm going to pour some in my uh, little dish here and then I'm just going to start painting. So I'm just going around the inside of the eye there. Hey Chuck, how are you? So I'm 
just painting my, my owl with blue grass, which is a kind of a greenish blue, or bluish green, I should say. So there we have one eye. Hi, Alice. How are you? Glad to see you guys today. We have our Dollar Tree owl, and we're just going to paint him in the bluegrass greenish blue color. Not the whole thing, just we're going to put scrapbook paper on his wings, feet, beak, and eyes. Okay, there we go so far. And now we're just going to paint the rest of him. Just using the folk art acrylic paint. You can see it's old because see that see that string coming out? That's a dried paint. I've had this for a while. And actually before I got it, it was somebody else's paint. So it's hard to say how old it is, but you know what? It still works, so I'm good with that. Anytime I don't have to buy anything myself, I'm good with that. And it doesn't matter if you get a little bit on the... Um, the feet or the wings or whatever, like I said, we are going to cover them up with um, the scrapbook paper. And if you didn't see how I made the, the um, cut the scrapbook paper, go back to the beginning of the video and you, and you can see that. So after this live, I'm going to be spending some time with my older granddaughter. So that should be fun. She loves to do crafts. It's so nice when you have, um, when your grandkids like to do what you're doing. I'm kind of trying not to get it on the edges because the scrapbook paper is going to be on the just on the top. But you know, if it gets on there, it's no big deal. Okay, so this is what we have so far. If you were going to do an owl, what color would you use? I thought this coordinated uh, well with the paper. These are the eyes. These are his little wings. And then his feet. And his beak. And I used um, this scrapbook paper here that I got years ago from Hobby Lobby. Of course, it was 20% off. Of uh, 50% off. There's no way I would pay $20 for that. I mean, it's probably worth it, but I just wouldn't do it. I guess you could call me cheap or, I don't know, frugal. I just can't see paying that much money when you can wait a week and get it for 50% off. Usually, um, if they have something 50% off one week, the next week, they'll have something else 50% off, and then they'll go back and have that again for 50% off. And I'm talking about Hobby Lobby. Okay, we're almost done. And I might have.
have to go to a smaller brush for this inside part. Let's see if I can get a smaller brush. Maybe this one. Get it down in there. Okay, I think that's just about got it. Let me put a little more right here. Right there. Now, I did kind of get it around there, but you know what? Like I said, that's okay. Just a tad right there. Okay, here we go so far. Hi, Teresa, how are you? Alice says she never pays full price for items. Me either. I try not to. And then I have to brag about, you know, okay, I got this one for 50% off, this one 40%. I didn't pay full price for anything. I love that. So I'm just going to dry this a little bit with my heat gun, and I got it from Harbor Freight. Actually, I got it from my husband. He got it from Harbor Freight. I took it from him, and he said yesterday, he goes, I guess I'm never going to get that heat gun back again, am I? And I said, yeah, probably not. The acrylic paint dries pretty fast on the wood. So we're going to start um, putting our um, Mod Podge on. Let me just shake it up a little bit. I don't think we need too much. So I'm just using my old favorite brush. And we have already cut out our pieces. Uh, if you missed the beginning to see how we cut these out, uh, please go back and watch the replay. So I'm just putting the Mod Podge in the eye area there. And I'm not using a whole lot. how much I put on there and then I'm just gonna slip this on and then I'm just pressing it down going around smoothing it out so there's our one eye so now we're gonna put Mod Podge on the other one I said this would be a cute little project, and um, like I said at the beginning, I was telling my mom about it. Um, she lives in West Virginia, and we live in Texas, but we're supposed to go see them uh, for a wedding for my sister-in-law's son. So uh, she's like, I like Al's, and I said, well, do you want the one? I said, I can make you one, and she said, yeah, I'll take one. So this is our other one. So I think I might give this one to her, or I might make her one that's different. Maybe find out what color she likes. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Isn't he getting cute? He was cute anyway, but he's getting cuter. And then I cut out his little beak here. And all of this um, paper was from that one book there. Put his beak on here. Just going to 
press that down. What do you guys think? Is he cute? And then we have his wings. Again, I'm just going to show you the amount of Mod Podge I'm using. Not, not a whole lot. Thanks for the thumbs up, Alice. Okay, I need some more Mod Podge. I usually pour too much in there. But when this runs out, I'm going to make my own Mod Podge. I saw a recipe, and I think you do a cup of just Elmer's glue to a third a cup of water. Now, you know, don't take that for granted. I, I Googled it, or I, yeah, I Googled it, and I saw this one person who had made it, and she had several comments that, yes, it did turn out really good, and it was just like Mod Podge, so... That's what I'm going to do because I have, I have bought uh, glue for something else that I was doing and I have two gallons of it. So since I'm no longer doing those projects, I need to use that glue. So I thought, well, what better way to do it than to make Mod Podge out of it since I use a lot of Mod Podge. Isn't it getting cuter by the minute? Okay, so we're going to put his orange feet on. Look at that, I had just enough Mod Podge. Awesome is that. Now feel free to um, share any, sprinkle any of my videos to anybody that you would think would like them. And I'll also uh, have them on my YouTube channel. Okay, here's our owl, and we're not even done with him yet. I'm going to put a stencil on him. So, I have this stencil here that came from Magnolia Design Co Company, and I did put the link in the description, and it's hashtag blessed with a heart. Thank you for the hearts with a, a heart on top there. Now, a little bit of the D is going to be cut off, and a little bit of the hashtag is going to be cut off, but... Um, it's still going to look good on here. I mean, it's not a lot of it that's going to be cut off. But I'm just smoothing it down on my piece here. I don't want to have any bubbles in it. I did not uh, fuzz this stencil because I've used it lots of times. And um, it's not as sticky as it used to be. So you see this part here is going to be cut off, but that's okay because it'll end right there and it'll still look good. And then it looks like most of the hashtag is going to be there. And then I'm going to use this brown and I put a link to the uh, chalk paste also in the description. And if you do decide to order, please use my links to order because I do get a little commission from it. And uh, that's how I can... Uh, keep crafting and buying uh, items to craft with and keep these videos going. So I have this squeegee and it, it comes in a whole piece, but they're called cut apart squeegee so you can cut a piece off and then use whatever side size that you want. And this is what the chalk paste looks like, nice and creamy, kind of like sour cream or yogurt. And then I'm just going to take some on my squeegee, and I'm going to put it on my stencil. 
and it's a screen uh, print, so you're just pushing the paste in the screen, through the holes in the screen. And, you know, I would never do stenciling if I didn't have something like this, because it is so easy and it looks so great. I have tried uh, the plastic stencils before, and all I ever did was make a mess. And so I shied away from stenciling until I saw um, another crafter doing it. And then I started following her and I was like, you know what, that looks easy. So uh, it is easy. So if you've never tried it, please, please do try it because it is super simple. And it'll make anything look gorgeous. So that's all the chalk paste we use. And now it's time for the reveal. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I love it. So I see part of that D swirl. And I'm going to put this upside down in my water. Now, uh, when you get finished stenciling, you want to take it to your kitchen sink and use your sprayer. And they also have a uh, stencil cleaner, which is a sponge, and you just take it and you rub over it with the water from your sprayer going on it, and it cleans up really well, especially the chalk paste. The ink is a little bit more difficult to clean up. Now, uh, let me get a wipe here. So since part of this D-swirl came up on there, I'm going to take that off, and I'm hoping that I can get that off with just this wipe. Yep. And then there's a little spot right here on the D. Right there. I cleaned it up a little bit. So this is what we have. Isn't that cute? I love it. I think my mom will like it too. So I'm just not sure. I have one more owl. So I don't know if I'll make her one. Or just give her this one. I'll find out what what her colors are. And then to keep your chalk from drying out, you want to spray some uh, distilled water. I've heard that if you use regular regular water, it could mold or mildew. So I'm going to give this a couple three squirts, and I'm just going to put the lid back on. So we're done with that and that, and the next thing I want to do is, I've had this for quite a while too, I'm sure I got it from Hobby Lobby, I've seen it there. So these are just these big, big shiny, what are they called? It's from Bead Design Acrylic Stones. So I'm pretty sure I got this for 50% off. So I'm just going to put these in for his eyes and I'm going to hot glue those. And let me get my stuff out of the way here. Okay. So I have my hot glue gun ready and I'm just going to put it on the back here. Just like that. And center it. And I think it just gives it a little something. Don't you think this is better than this? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. But if you didn't want to use these, if you didn't have any, I'm pretty sure you could use buttons. Um, hmm, what else could you use? Any ideas? Okay, now I am going to make a little ribbon to put on the top, but I want to put my, I'm going to put my hanger back on. Adds flare is what Alice says. Yes. Yes, it does. Okay, so I'm just going to put this back in and I'm just going to tie a, a little knot on the end. So we have that, and I'm just going to dry this a little bit with my heat gun. 
so I don't mess it up. we're going to make our ribbon. So I bought these ribbons from the Dollar Tree. This one has owls on it. This one's orange and this one is a tan and these have gold on the edges. Really pretty. So it's uh, brand new in their fall collection so of course I had to get every one they had. So I cut uh, two of the tan ones five inches long two of the orange ones five inches long and then I put the dovetails on the ends and then I cut four of the owl ones five inches long with the dovetails so I'm going to start out with an orange one and then I'm just going to crisscross them just like an X can you see this so like an X and then I'm going to put my owl on. I want to make sure they're upright and then I'm going to do my tan. I wanted my owl to be on the top and then I wanted it to be every other, I wanted more of the owl ones than I did the other ones. So I'm just crisscrossing them And then I have a piece of jute over here and I'm just gonna I just folded it in half hi Tracy how are you and um, I am taking it and then I'm just gonna take these ends and put them through my loop here and then I'm gonna pull it tight Okay, and then I'm just going to tie a knot in the two ends. Just to keep it together. And I'm going to tie it tight. And then we're going to spread these out. And then we're just going to cut off the ends. You might have to fiddle with it a little bit to uh, get the ribbons separated from each other. I'm just pulling them in opposite directions. And then I picked out this little I don't know if you could see it or not. This little orange button for my button collection. And I'm going to put that in the middle. So I'm just going to put this bow right here on top of my hanger. So I just put a blob of a hot glue right there where the hanger is and then I'm going to put my button on top of it and when I'm done with this I will post a picture of it and uh, I will put it on Liz's craft page please be sure you're liking and following Liz's craft page so that you'll see when we go live and when we have something going on Okay, so this is what we have. Hashtag blessed. 
and uh, she's getting uh, her ribbon in her eyes. I might need to trim that up a little bit. But what do you think? Is this cute? If you think this is cute, let me see some hearts. Now I'll be back here tomorrow at 11.30 Central with another craft. I'm not sure exactly, I got a thumbs up, not sure exactly uh, what craft we're going to be doing, but uh, I'll post it. Oh, thank you for the hearts, Alice. Um, I will post it either later this evening or in the morning and let you know what we're going to be doing. So until then, keep crafting. See you tomorrow. Bye.